Hi, I'm Rich Nagel, Director of Marketing and Customer Solutions for Bendix Air Supply. Today I'd like to talk about servicing our new ADHF air dryer. So on the table in front of me, I have two air dryers. To my left is the Bendix ADIS, our most popular air dryer. Been out on the road for about 20 years, and to the right is our new ADHF dryer, which is going to replace the IS. There are some similarities and some differences, and I want to talk a little bit about servicing the HF in comparison to the older ADIS. So visually, the first thing you'll note on the ADIS steel purge reservoir. So of course this reservoir typically is mounted to a bracket on the frame rail of the truck or directly to the frame rail. If you want to change the dryer out, you just remove the aluminum housing and you leave that reservoir on the truck. Also, the dryer cartridge is a standard 39 millimeter thread. And of course this is a Pure Guard oil coalescing cartridge, but the thread is the same. When I move over to the new HF, you'll see some big changes. First, this is a two-piece casting, so it's about eight pounds lighter, and you can see the two pieces are retained with this retaining band and a shoulder bolt. You never want to take this retaining band off, and you don't want to take that shoulder bolt off. There's nothing to be serviced inside here, and if you touch it, that voids the warranty. One of the other design considerations with the ADHF was to be 100% oil coalescing. And so this dryer comes standard, also with a pure guard cartridge, but the mounting interface is a little different. It's a 41 millimeter thread. So of course this cartridge will not mount on the older dryers, and these standard 39 millimeter cartridges will not mount on the new ADHF. So some other things to point out on service items, when I look at the IS, standard D2 governor, very common. You can see the heater on the side of the dryer and the purge valve. If I look at the ADHF, same D2 governor, same heater, same purge valve. So from stocking and maintaining kits, providing service, a lot of parts commonality. So there is one difference here on the ADHF and that's the delivery check valve. So I'm gonna take the D2 governor off, just gonna spin the bolts off very quickly. And of course that pops out. When you replace it, don't forget to replace the gasket. And inside here, you're gonna see a little spring and pop it. This is called the delivery check valve. The delivery check valve isolates the purge valve from compressed air when you're charging the system. So this doesn't fail very often, but if it does, it's a very simple part to replace, and it just inserts inside that cavity, and then the governor goes back over it again. The biggest change on servicing the ADHF is on the pressure protection valves. You can see the four valves on the bottom of the dryer. If I look at the ADIS, it also has four pressure protection valves. These are set uh, at the factory when the dryer is built. They cannot be field serviced. So if one of these valves goes bad, the whole dryer has to get replaced. On the HF, we wanted to make that a lot simpler. So this uses a cartridge style preset pressure protection valve, very easy to replace. I'm just gonna remove the retaining bolt and then this little retaining plate, I'll put those off to the side. This cartridge pops out and you can see, if you look up very closely, the pressure rating is printed on the cartridge. The pressure ratings vary on cavity and on application. So if you buy a kit, you have to make sure that the right valve goes into the right cavity. It's very simple to change out. It takes less than two minutes. It's a big enhancement on the ADHF design. So thank you for your time today, and I hope you learned a little bit about our new ADHF dryer.